What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, how you doing? You see my video of the car getting towed? No. Uh, I, I made a video the other day. There was a, uh, what was it? What is it? A civil server car or something. I came here for some reason and it was getting towed. So I made a little skit video. Yeah. It was just a joke. Like, I'm like, hey, look, it parked on private property. I had it towed, right? And I posted it. It was just a little short just to be funny. And I put it in the description. Uh, this is humor. You know, this didn't actually happen. I didn't tow this car. Yeah. Well, earlier, Chitwood got on that video under the sheriff's office uh, YouTube page. Started posting on. He's like, oh, are you going to tell these people you're lying to them? You didn't actually do that. Uh, Trained investigator. He didn't read the description. Yeah. <laughs> to be funny. You know, if somebody suddenly comes to serve a subpoena, and a lot of people are angered by that, and you tow their shit out of there. You know, that was that was the joke, but he didn't like. He played it like I was trying to fool people, but it was right there in the description. So I definitely appreciate people like you. So take care, man. I appreciate you talking to me. You have a good rest of your day. Yeah, you too, man. Take care. So if this spot looks familiar right here, you might remember a recent short that I put out, a short video, one minute video on YouTube, right, of a county process vehicle whatever it was civil vehicle being towed there was a tow truck right here right now there's a police car right there this is not my property this is the sheriff's office right that was a skit video i made it clear in the description it was made for entertainment it was made for a laugh i didn't actually tow that vehicle um i came here to this district office for some reason i don't remember why now but i came here and as i came here the tow truck came and there was a car here and i made the joke hey what is it up for repo the guy they didn't pay their bill and uh i just saw an opportunity to make a funny video and uh it was not meant to fool anybody obviously which is why it was in the description that this is a skit this is humor this is for entertainment purposes only i didn't actually tow this this is not my property but but and i know you know some people they don't read the description whatever um you know but no harm it's funny you get a laugh that was the purpose of the video, to get a laugh. Today, however, at about one o'clock in the afternoon, that video got the attention of somebody. It got the attention of the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, who I imagine posting on their behalf is their Sheriff Mike Chitwood. He commented on there. Now, now remember, this is law enforcement, right? These, uh, so you can talk about if it's Mike Chitwood, we'll just assume it's Mike Chitwood, the top cop at the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, trained investigator, right? This is who we put faith in. Uh, to, to solve all sorts of terrible crimes and you know the worst things this is the trained investigators right they get to the bottom of it well apparently mike chitwood isn't isn't uh investigative enough to read the damn description because this is the comment that he posted you know oh you're lying to people you're gonna tell these people you're lying to them i said hey genius did you read the description all right so he's always trying to clown people but more important than that uh, that's your taxpayer dollars at work. The taxpayers are paying for someone at the sheriff's office, probably the sheriff, to instead of be out there sheriffing or, you know, do whatever he's doing sheriffing, he's watching YouTube videos and he's starting comment wars. Let me interject something here real quick. I mean, it's amazing and it's funny that he or whoever at this agency did this. It's ridiculous. But there's a very serious side to this that people need to consider. I am certain it's the sheriff or someone at his direction, but that doesn't matter. It's a member of that agency, a public agency, using their official government YouTube account. And what we have here is a public servant coming after a private citizen who made a parody skit to make people laugh and made it no secret that it's a parody with the full intention to cause division. He is 100% trying to cause division among private citizens. He comes in making the claims, oh, he's lying to you. Do you want to tell them that you're lying to them? His only intent there was to cause divide. Great peacekeeper, huh? I don't like the guy, like many people, because this is the type of person he is. And I'm glad to get an opportunity to have an example to show people. Clearly a feelings enforcer, but why so angry? Does this guy stand outside the theater when the Spider-Man movie ends, yelling at people, hey, they lied to you, they lied to you. Spider-Man is, isn't really real. People can't climb buildings. Does he do that? Or does this public servant have a personal vendetta against a private citizen and he's abusing his position to turn people against him? Him being me, 
the private citizen, who did nothing wrong, just wanted to make people laugh, and sees police retaliation as a result. Not just police, but from the sheriff, the sheriff of an entire county. We'll one day soon make a video devoted to his ways, his fudging of numbers, his tactics to fool people. But for now, let's focus on the divide that he's trying to cause. And it's very clear. It should be clear to anybody. What other reason would a public servant make those comments for? Aside from the fact that he's wasting taxpayer money watching YouTube videos and then posting like an angry teenage girl, it's my opinion that's a dangerous person abusing that position, attempting to gaslight people into being angry at another private citizen. But unfortunately for you, Mike... We all see right through you. He likes to call everybody a clown. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. On YouTube videos, making himself look silly because he made an assumption without looking into it. What's the first thing we gotta, we gotta do in law enforcement before you jump to conclusions? You gotta investigate, you gotta look into it, right? Mike, Mike, you gotta look into it. And you, you failed miserably because, because the evidence and the proof was right there, right there before you. How you doing? Hey, what's the first thing you got to do before you jump to a conclusion? Investigate, right? That's right. Absolutely. Hey, I appreciate you. Yes, sir. He knows. He knows the first thing you got to do is investigate. Chitwood. This is a deputy, right? He, I will see stripes. He's not a supervisor, but you should take note from him. So, uh, but, but I think that's, that's another concerning thing, too. I think it's kind of valid. Why, instead of sheriffing, is he spending time watching YouTube videos and commenting? Now, he's, he, he won't respond uh, to serious things, uh, or if he does, he'll call names. We, we've shown you that before. We've shown videos of that. Uh, you ask him a legitimate question in a very cordial and professional way via email, and he will respond with name-calling and, you know, other clownery. Jumping to conclusions, not reading the description, right? And then he fired back at me as soon as I commented. Hey, did you read the description? Top clown? And I use that term clown because that's what he calls everybody. He said, oh, all your viewers clowns too? No, no. My viewers are not the sheriff of a county. They are not trained investigators like you, Mike. I, you, you're, you, what do you always say, right? Law enforcement held to a higher standard? Well, where is it? You jumped the gun. You jumped the gun there, and uh, you made yourself look silly. In my opinion, everybody else, share your, share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. How you doing? I'm not an enemy. I'm a friend. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments about the sheriff. And now, I'm, like I said, I'm assuming it's Mike, Mike Chitwood, the sheriff himself, making those comments because that's the type of stuff that he does. He calls people keyboard warrior. However, he is more of a keyboard warrior than anyone I have ever seen. He gets behind that keyboard. He will email you late at night just to call you a name. Only because you noticed something, you noticed a wrongdoing with law enforcement or whatever the case may be. How you doing? Whatever the case may be. Um, but uh, he spends a lot of time on that keyboard. We've asked him to meet in person to talk about genuine serious issues. He won't do it, refuses to do it. All he'll do is call names from behind the keyboard. He will not meet in person with any sort of media that he does not control or have some sort of power over. He says that we are not media. However, I disagree. We report on and investigate serious things that concern a lot of people, a lot of citizens. They just happen to be things that Mike doesn't want it, doesn't want looked into. But anyway, Thought that was funny. Thought I'd share. Shot it. Thought I'd share that with you. For anybody that didn't know that that was just a joke, it was just a joke. It was right there in the description, and no harm intended. It was meant to give you a laugh, break up the monotony. We 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 look at a lot of negativity, a lot of times, and uh, humor is important. And it's funny to get a laugh. I saw an opportunity. The car was right here. The tow truck was right there. This clearly. It's not my property. If this is my property, I got, I got a lot of towing to do. There's a lot of police cars parked on my property. But hey, let me know what you think. Uh, but, hey, what's going on? How you doing, sir? Good, how you doing? Hey, can I ask you one quick question? Be uh, before you jump to conclusions, you have to investigate, right? Yep. Yeah, that's it. That was it. I appreciate you, man. Have a good one, sir. You too. Take care. 
he knows see you what he knows too but i just want to let you know uh, share share your comments share your thoughts on that do you think as the sheriff he should do better like i said trained investigator serious serious crimes they are in charge of investigating however uh he thinks he's calling me out because he failed to he didn't even have to investigate the evidence was right there in front of his face he just didn't look at it i don't know that's concerning that's concerning share your thoughts let me know what you think and i i hope this video provided another laugh because that's the intention of this video i got a laugh out of those comments from uh you know mike chitwood or whoever that was using the sheriff's office page but hey sheriff's office page mike thank you for being such a fan we appreciate you make sure you like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified uh any other time i might tow any of your vehicles i just want to reiterate and enforce a few things and then i'll stfu i promise i mentioned the point of this video is because it's funny and for another laugh and it is funny because it's so damn ridiculous that guy you're looking at right there sits on that keyboard watching youtube videos then starts clicking away a warrior of the keyboard retaliating against citizens trying to gaslight and cause division amongst we the people is that what a sheriff is supposed to be is that what even just a cop is supposed to be and again i don't think i have to say it to any of you most of you get what this guy does not get that under a minute video that he's so uptight about was to make you laugh entertainment a parody a skit fiction never intended to to deceive and i mean obviously i don't have to explain this to you and i know many people don't look at that description but if they did it, it's spelled out right there but i don't think that's important i think that would only be important for someone in his position if you're going to start making accusations and things and like i said if you're a trained investigator probably you should investigate bottom line he is mad because we expect accountability from police He's mad because we look into things and we bring things to public light. He's so mad he uses that position to try to bring private citizens into public light. It's not how it's supposed to work, Mike. Public servants are in a public light and the people expect accountability and transparency. And we expect not to encounter feelings enforcement. Among the many names he's called me in response to cordial professional emails, requests for comment or whatever he's for some reason made the claims that i want to defund the police where the hell he gets that i have no idea he's got a broad imagination land i'll say that he's called me a cop hater and again fails to investigate go go through all my videos and find evidence of either, either one of those things do i have an expectation of accountability within law enforcement 100 percent. i'm not a cop hater i'm pro police but pro good police not bad cops not hypocrisy not tyranny, not corruption. So for anyone who's followed me and what I do for a while, when you see someone like him call me a cop hater, what, what do you think that means? If in his mind, in his eye, law enforcement is above the law, it's dirty, and that cops should be allowed to do whatever they want, that they shouldn't be accountable for their actions, they should be allowed to violate your rights and just act like fools. If that's what he thinks, then yeah, cop hater I guess would fit because that is exactly what I'm against. So why does Mike here have a problem with me and others like me being against that? To me, that seems kind of telling. When a citizen seeks accountability and any member or part of law enforcement tries to hinder that, that's dangerous, as is a public servant like him using, misusing or abusing that position, an elected position and in an election year to cause divide among the people. It is my opinion that is a dangerous elected public servant so sorry mike i stand by that little short video that i made that you're so ruffled about i suspect you're the only one that was offended by it and i don't know why you should have looked into it just a tiny little bit and look to see what's right in front of you before you tried to defame me you only had to click a button but the ego of a feelings enforcer makes them act immediately and i don't expect everybody to look at the description <laughs> but a trained investigator like yourself yeah kind of do uh, if you're gonna do what you did anyway so now here comes uh, my promise to STFU. Stay tuned. Much more coming soon on the topic of him using that position to do what he does. And we got lots of other videos, so check them out. And aside from Mike here, I hope the rest of you got a genuine laugh out of that parody video I made 
just to make you laugh.